Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mandy and today I have a Sam's Club haul to share with you guys. I have ventured out to the closest Sam's Club to me with my two daughters and my oldest daughter did a great big stock up two carts worth and I just stocked up on just the things I needed. There was a couple things I couldn't find today which is okay. I will do without them or I will buy them somewhere else. So I'm gonna take everything home and show you everything we got. All right, let's go. All right, we are home. I have everything out on the table. I feel like I spent a lot, but after seeing how much my daughter spent, I didn't spend that much. <laughs> so here we are. I'm gonna have a little contest. If you would like to guess how much I spent, I am going to send you something in the mail. So, if you wanna play along, guess how much I spent. The person that is closest to the amount that I spent today is going to get a little cash gift from me in the mail. So, all right, let me turn you around and show you everything I got. I'll give you a few prices if I remember them, but I don't have a receipt because I used Scan and Go. So, all right, let's go. All right, the lighting is not great. <laughs> it's cloudy outside. We got home before it started raining, but everything is defrosting. I live about 45 minutes from Sam's Club. And when we were done, we went and did a little fishing and we went and got some lunch to eat on the way home. So everything needs to be put away. I also have two gallons of milk out in the outside fridge. I had to put them in there because they were getting warm. So let's start with the meat. I got quite a bit of meat. I made a rough monthly meal plan. So I'm shopping a little differently this month. I am trying to do a one month haul at the beginning of the month, today's the first. And yeah, I'm just gonna go back for very few ingredients that I need like for my meal plan for the upcoming week. So I'm hoping this will get me through two weeks and I won't have to go back for anything, but we shall see. So I knew I needed about 10 pounds of ground beef. These are almost five pounds each. So I may need a little bit more or I may just change a meal. I also got something I wasn't planning on getting. So two packages of ground beef. This one was $19.94. That one is $20.31. I got this pork loin. I'll give you guys a price. This is $1.98 a pound. I spent $16.51. I got a package of bone-in skin on chicken thighs. These were $1.48 a pound and I spent $6.58. I got this roast. I was wanting to get a large roast and cut it in half for two different meals. And this one was on clearance for $3. Look, I broke my nail. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, $3.74 a pound for this what is this even? This is a sirloin tip roast. I spent $24.46 for that. We were looking for those uh, clearance stickers and my daughter found a couple too, which is exciting. And I also got these, I wasn't planning on getting them, but I got these cube steaks, um, $14.31. I think there's like eight in there. So that wasn't on my meal plan, but when I saw them, it seemed like a pretty good price. I guess not, $6.98, but for eight of those for $14, that'll be two meals. I was happy with that. I also got 10 pounds of fro frozen chicken breasts. I had been buying the packages like this, but there's only like two breasts in each one. And sometimes I need three. Um, I don't know. I went with this. It was a little bit cheaper. This was a really good price. So I got that. I got some string cheese. Caitlin picked the mozzarella. I, I gave her the choice of the Colby Jack or the mozzarella string cheese, and she chose those. I got some shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheese and mozzarella cheese. These are two packs, so two pounds. They're about $6, a little over $6. Not bad. That's like, what, 
three dollars a pound dollar fifty for an eight ounce bag i can't get that where i am unless it's a super awesome sale caitlin picked out these pancakes and sausage on a stick it was not on my list but i let her get that we got the 10 pound bag or a box of bacon. My daughter got one of these too. It works out to $3 a pound. This box is $30. Awesome, awesome deal. So we got all that bacon. I got these chicken breast tenders. My son really likes those. It's a five pound box. I can't remember the price on that. I got some coffee creamer. They had hazelnut, and that's what I've been drinking when I've been drinking hot coffee. So I got a great big one. That should last, I'm hoping it'll last me the whole month. They also have some blueberry in the fridge and pumpkin spice, but I'm so over pumpkin spice. I got some orange juice. My husband has been making um, like a protein smoothie every morning, and these are a really good price, just over $6 for two. I got some white vinegar. I've been making my own cleaners and I've been adding it to my laundry. So I picked up another two pack of those. I got two 12 pound bags of flour. This is the gold medal. They did not have the uh, members mark like Sam's Club brand 25 pound bag of flour. They never have it at my club. I don't know why. I think I've had it shipped to me before. I might have to do that again, but I got those. I got some heavy whipping cream. I used pretty much all my flour in January for the pantry challenge. So I got some sour cream. I got these beautiful colored peppers. Oh my gosh, you guys. I looked through all the peppers and felt them and squeezed them and look at that. It's okay, I'll cut that one up and um, it'll be eaten first. I got two heads of iceberg lettuce. I think this is $1.77 for two, which at Walmart, it's $1.77 for one. So that's a great deal. I got some avocados. Clayton loves to have avocados. I got some green beans. I just wanted some fresh veggie options and we love some steamed fresh green beans. I got a three pack of seedless cucumbers. This is just over $3. These raspberries, it, I can't remember exactly how much. I'm not going to put prices on the screen, but these were just over $2 for this big pet container of raspberries. Super happy about that. Caitlin and I will have those eaten in probably a, a day or two. I got this acid pep. Um, my husband and I both take this if we have heartburn, and it works really well. I mean, just like the name brand, just like it says there, it <laughs> works very good. I also got some Envy apples this time. The Cosmic Crisp were kind of soft and uh, these were cheaper and they are nice and hard and they're a good size. I'm really happy with those. So I think that's it for produce. I did get some American cheese for hamburgers and whatever else we need that for. I needed some parsley. I, had, I think I had every other seasoning um, except parsley. We ran out of that. I got 10 pounds of sugar. I got a bag of Doritos. Now you guys will have to tell me if you shop at Sam's Club. The bag says mix and match. Is the price for two bags or can you just get multiple bags? Because I kind of stood there and wondered if you had to get two bags because they were on sale for $3.98. But is two bags $3.98 or... I don't get the mix and match thing. So anyway, you'll have to let me know if you know. I got this honey almond granola. I did make two different kinds of granola last month, but you know, neither of them were as good <laughs> as the store stuff. I know there's stuff in here that is not, not very nice. I don't even know what that says. Tocopherols, that's great, but it's delicious and it's great big bag for like $6. Butter was $13, not amazing, but uh, better than $5 a pound at the store. I got these fries. This was the only fry selection they had. So we got these rallies, or is it checkers? Rallies, rallies fries. They are very good. I got five dozen eggs. I did get bread. I've been making my own bread. I haven't bought bread since December, I think. 
and it's just not soft like store-bought bread and it it's getting a little busy around here and uh i bought some sandwich bread i did i just i needed it in my life and i also got a 15 pound pound bag of potatoes these were on sale for that's just an empty box i didn't buy any game <laughs> that these were on sale for seven dollars and at my Walmart, I think the 10 pound bag is over $7 now. So that was everything. All right, I'm gonna pop in here with my little Walmart haul. This was a delivery. This was $90. This is not gonna be part of the uh, Sam's Club amount <laughs> that you're guessing. So only guess how much the Sam's Club amount was. All right, so. On my meal plan, I have some like hot sandwiches. So I got some roast beef and some provolone for that. So uh, that's gonna be one meal. I did get some pepperoni. We're gonna be having some pizzas again. I actually rejected this. I asked for the Kinder's uh, steak seasoning and they didn't have it and they gave this to me anyway. I also ordered the Great Value tortillas and they were out. They gave me these instead and that is fine. Um, we needed a meat thermometer. This was like $8. Somebody keeps putting it in the sink and getting it wet and it quits working. So I don't know. Anyway, I got this one. I got another blueberry creamer because uh, no joke, like these go out of stock so fast and you can't find them anymore. The first time I saw it in Walmart, I was, um, doing an in-store shop and I had a $25 budget and I think I bought one. But, um, sorry, the dog is scratching her collar. Um, there was a lady that had walked by that had like four in her cart because, let me tell you, they're hard to find. I got two of these Stoke cold brew coffee. Um, it's just busy right now and I'm kind of wanting iced coffee. So I got that. These dried sweetened cranberries and pecans. These are just really good on salad. I really enjoy them and I needed some more. I meant to only get two of these peach Oikos Pros, but I accidentally got three. It was 50 cents back when you got two, so I got two vanilla, and I thought I got two peach, but I guess I got three. I got some vanilla ice cream. We have been enjoying having some um, ice cream cones, so we used up all the sugar cones that we had, and I saw these waffle cones, so this Bluebell ice cream is so good. I also got this strawberry shortcake roll ice cream. I think Caitlin and I are gonna try this in a minute and uh, I'm really excited about that. I needed to just stock up, um, not really stock up, but refresh some things. I needed some sliced olives for pizzas. All the pepperoncinis got eaten last month, so I needed some more of those. I'm hoping to make a Mississippi pot roast and Clayton has been asking me for balsamic vinegar for a while, so I finally got that. Caitlin would like to make some red velvet, I think cupcakes, for um, Valentine's Day. So I got her a cake mix. I got a 24 count of the Folgers Classic Roast. It was just way too expensive at Sam's Club. Like $40. I know you get a lot, and I know it's cheaper than this, but I just... I couldn't buy $40 worth of coffee today. It just was not going to happen. I drank my last holiday blend this morning and I was so sad. I also got a, what is this? Five pound bag of carrots, two limes, three lemons, and that is it for Walmart. Also, I wanted to tell you, I tried it. It's good. It's just like strawberry swirl. Uh, there are little cake pieces in it, which make it a lot better, but I don't know. I guess it's good for a dollar or something, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I'll have Caitlin try it, but that is my review on the strawberry shortcake roll ice cream. It's okay. Again, leave down in the comments below with two gallons of milk how much you think this all costs. Now... I know I already said it, but the person that gets closest to the amount that I spent today is going to receive a little a little cash in a card in the mail. So if you want to play along and you win, you'll have to send me your address so I can send you the card. So, all right, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
I hope you will guess how much I spent down in the comment box. And that's it. I hope you have a wonderfully blessed rest of your day. Have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye guys.